Hey everyone, it's me, Inspired Joe Min, or The Heal of Dreams, which will be of my other channel right here. And today is a kawaii revamp. So today we'll actually be doing a kawaii revamp of these shoes I made from basic shoes that were clogged kind of feel, and I made it kind of a Lolita feel. So if you want to watch the tutorial, keep watching and enjoy. Step one. So first, we're going to clean our shoes with some soapy water. I filled up halfway with three drops and a paper towel. And I do this so I won't get any nasty gook or either leftover dirt or debris on me or in my shoe to stay there while I'm painting. Next, I repair my shoe with the fabric glue that I had and make sure everything is in place before I get started on painting. That's very important. Step two. Next, I take my paintbrush and my acrylic paint and I now get started on painting each layer. For each layer, I decided to use three to four layers because my shoe was black. If yours is lighter, it might take you less amount of time. But remember, during each layer, give it a 15 minute break so the paint can sit into the shoe and soak in, depending on what kind of leather your shoe is made of. Make sure to do this gently but nicely so you can get an even shade. If you need more paint, add three more drops for each layer. That's how I did it and I got it pretty even shade. Now if you want, you can switch from one shoe to the other shoe when you're done with between layers. It'll make things a lot more faster and easier. And by the way, when you're finished with all your layers, make sure to put some gloss on it and don't forget the 15 minute breaks each time. This is what it should look like when you give it a break each time during the layers. So eventually it will soak into the leather and the threading of the shoe. And when you're done with each layer, do not forget to clean it out. You don't want your paint to sit in there and mess up your shoe and your brush to constantly keep doing this so you won't waste money. And clean it off your hands too. Step 3. Now the next part would be the shoelaces to actually if you want your own custom shoelaces and you want to use ribbon, this actually was hard for me to actually do. You have to at least, where you see this, if you put it in like this, it's going to be a lot harder for you to fold it because the material is so thick. So what I did is I did this from an angle and I cut it like this from the angle using the scissors and I slowly, I bent it halfway so where you still, if you put it through the hole, you can still get this part and slowly seam it through and then all of it will come out. Once I put the shoelaces in, now I can add on the decorations, whether I want to glue it on or draw it on or however you guys feel like you need to do it. Once you have that, make sure you polish it. Polish the shoe so it will not mess up through accidents of water or debris or the godforsaken rain. Just saying. Okay, so now you have your cute kawaii revamped views. They are very simple and yet cute, and you can wear it to semi-formal events or just a casual weekend event just to go hang out with some girls or your guys or whatever you hang out with, whoever you hang out with. Cats, dogs, unicorns, that kind of cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to make some more soon. Alright guys, and that's all I have for you today because I have to go jump on and go off to school and get ready for class. And I hope you enjoy these cute shoes. I have to put polish on it because I forgot to buy the polish when I was in the store. But I hope you guys enjoy it and I know my room's a mess. It's because I'm currently moving this weekend into my mom's apartment, which is closer to my school. So I have to go because my ride is actually waiting on me so I can go to school and go on the train and go to school for my college. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!